this first file is to show you how to, or this first video is to show you how to add Stat Pro on your home computer or into Excel in a computer lab where there is no Stat Pro added. So first thing I'm going to do is open up Microsoft Excel. Okay, and you'll notice here that there is no Stat Pro add-in, there is no add-in tab as well. So I'm looking to have an add-in tab uh, and an add-in called Stat Pro in Excel. The best way to do this quickly on a computer that is not your own or uh, on a computer, let's say at the, uh, your friend's computer or at the library, uh, best way to do this is to do the following. Go into Share Out, go into 5751 under Opman, uh, go copy the Stat Pro Add-ins folder. So Stat Pro Add-ins, go copy all of that and paste it to the desktop of the computer you're working with. Or if you're working on the library computers, you'll need to paste it to your work folder. Okay, so now I've got it on my desktop. Now I open that file, or that folder, and I go in and I look for a specific file. It's called statpro.xla. There it is. If I double click on that, that will open up this add in in Excel for just this time. So as soon as I close Excel, this add-in will be gone. But this is a quick, easy way to add this add-in. Click on Enable Macros, and there we go. So now it's popped up. There is my Stat Pro add-in. Now, what's great about this way of adding it is that it's very quick. What's bad, if I exit Excel, and I go back and I reopen it again. There it is. My add-in is gone. Okay, so if you want to add this add-in permanently, so when you're using this uh, add-in on your home computer for the term here, or for the duration of your Opman 5751 course, what I recommend is adding it permanently into Excel for now. And you do that by doing the following. Go under the File tab, go to Options, and go to Add-ins. And under there, go click on Go. And go and browse for the Stat Pro add-in. Notice it's not listed here in this list. So go browse for it. And you can grab it off ShareOut. Now that's not recommended because if you lose an internet connection, you will lose that access to ShareOut. So I've put it on my desktop. I've taken that whole folder, put it on there. Stat Pro add-ins is the folder. And look for StatPro.xla and then click OK. And now it's been checked off and it's there ready for you to use. You click OK. And you'll notice there is the add-in. Every time you close Excel and open it, that add-in will still be there. One last note, if you are tired of using Stat Pro at the end of the term, feel like you're never going to use it again and you want to get rid of that add-in, you do the same steps as I just did. Go to File, Add-ins, or just go to Options and then Add-ins. Go to Go, and Uncheck Stat Pro. Now it's not going to show up under your add ins tab the next time you start up Excel. Also, notice there are a couple more add ins that are useful in here the Analysis Tool Pack, especially, and the Solver add in we're going to use later. So, if you'd like, you can also check those off at the same time. Click OK, and there you go, you have your add in in Excel, Stat Pro, and it's ready to go.